for right now we're gonna focus on the the knocked demon now you see here there's there's the demon there and there's the just the knock the the knock is the actually uh, the client part now I'm not gonna gonna go over it in length but I'm going to say that you can actually install it on a different uh, router and another DDWRT router and if you're gonna gonna call from one router to another you can have one uh, have the client in it and uh, the other one have the server. Now what we're gonna do is actually install the server. So the next uh, next command is uh, actually to install the the dependency part and you see it downloading it from the from the site and it's done. Next part is to install now if you're using if you're using v23 you're gonna use this regular command I don't know why they changed it but now if you're using v24 like uh, like I am I'm using v24 uh, release candidate 6.2 uh, I don't know why they changed it I don't know why it happened but uh, as I was trying to make this video I found out that uh, nothing's working so I found out that I need to add this parameter force dependencies now this is what you see here is the, the default configuration once you install this it's already automatically configured to show you uh, how to use it uh, for uh, uh, poly actually for um, if you if you want to uh, enable poly uh, remotely I'm not going to use it because I don't actually like to open poly remotely I like remote desktop and that's like you know me okay so it's important to note that we're gonna need to create a, a directory here um, the directory is gonna be jffs etsy config which is a default startup scripts directory and I've created the, the library and now what I'm going to do is actually create the file that I need for the startup file this is gonna be the startup file this is gonna this is going to be the the file that's going to contain the the command to to uh, to use the the daemon now to after you've uh, used vi to to create a file in order to insert a line you need to hit escape and the the i key and this goes into uh, insert mode once in insert mode you can type in or paste in the startup command after that i hit escape again and uh, and uh, I'm gonna quit while writing colon and then W for write and Q for quit. I've created the file, it's in this config library. Now what I need to do is actually make it executable by using chmod. Now I may be overdoing it a little by giving it all the permissions. You may want to give it less permissions to make it more secure, but this is just write down and dirty to get it working for now now that it's executable it's gonna run the next time I reboot the router now let's go over what we've written in the startup file knocked is uh, is actually the the knock daemon this is the program that we're installing d minus d is daemon mode minus i is interface and the vlan uh, one is actually the the one interface the the wide area net uh, network interface on this router i don't know why they named the, the the interfaces a little differently but i guess they have their their own reasons i'm i'm not a linux guru to to challenge their reasoning uh minus c is uh, configuration and this is the configuration file which i showed you all earlier now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a little script file again using vi and this script file is gonna contain the the commands that uh, that we want uh, the the router to execute once we've hit the the port I, I, just to to recap to to mention it again what we're gonna do is only once I've hit those ports and this can be port 80 and port 21 and port 9009 whatever you want it to be only once I've hit this port here and this port here and this port here and I'm going to say you know I need to hit this one twice and this one uh, once and this one three times only once I have did that the commands that I'm actu actually writing down in this uh, in the script 
are going to execute. And I'm going to go over the commands in just a little bit, but let's just create the file first hand, first of all. And am I going to use this? Uh, yeah, it, it already writes the path for me. Now in the file I'm going to just copy and paste the, the commands, but don't you worry, I, I made those commands myself, so I'm not cheating here. 